the game, like, it's like, oh, wow, they, they beat Yeah, it's just like, you gotta take your whole conceptions of this game, toss them out the window. Um, but not just yet. We still have one last ride here at Cena. So, ride goes using Cloud this time around. So there's, um, so we got what? Marth, um, Bayo, and now Cloud. Someone's a fan of the meta. <laughs> um... <laughs> But on that note, I'm actually very surprised that Raigo wouldn't opt for Bayonetta if he's trying to pick into meta plays. Just because at least out of the three characters we had just listed, I feel like Cloud has like the most even of a battle with Mega Man. Mm -hmm. Like, yes, Cloud is still able to oppress very well with his aerials, and he has no issue securing damage. But... Like, Mega Man doesn't particularly have to respect a lot of what uh, Cloud brings to the table, and I feel like we'll see that throughout the entirety of this game one, possibly this set. Oh my goodness. Ark is uh, still continuing that little um, streak he's got there. He's been starting off very strong in every game. He wants to take this last Zeno. He, he, I bet he feels like this is his time right now. Oh, that was, that was what I was going to say. If I couldn't get um, a Sage versus Dill Grand Finals, I want a new champion. Oh, my one God. The final, the final champion. The final uh, new champion. And then, of course, when Ultimate comes out, everyone's a new champion. Everyone's, everyone's, a, new everyone's a new champion. That'll be silly. <laughs> Ultimate's going to be a weird time, but we're not there yet. Not until Friday. Although, right now, it's looking like <gasps> Raigo wants to be oh. shooting a little too low with the uh, climb hazard. But even then, just come back. Safe and sound. Unfortunately, King Ark does not want anything to do with that. Continues his relentless pressure. Doesn't even care for the up smash, too. Back air cleaning up Raiga. And we're going to go into game two on King Ark's turns. Yeah, King Ark, again, so so dominant so far in this tournament. And he has just been just so calm throughout the whole thing. He Like, look at the emotion of him right now. He's just stiff. He, like, not stiff, but he's, like, very stone-faced. He's very in the zone. Uh, he's looking he, confident. Yeah. This is his time to shine. He knows it. He's playing nice. He's letting loose with it. Game two is going to a triplat. I like that. I like that. I like that. It's two triplats. It's two triplats. Oh, it's Battlefield. Um, I get it. But at the same time, you brought Mega Man to Battlefield. So I feel like Good what luck. happens next, you asked for. Right yeah, I was going to say, it's going to be a very rough ride, even for Cloud. Like, yeah, Cloud makes amazing use of Battlefield. Some dare yeah. say one of the best characters to use Battlefield. Mm. Uh, Mega Man is certainly no slouch at being able to hold center stage here. Yes. He's able to defend the castle incredibly well, and King Ark doesn't really have to commit too much to his options that allow him to play that kind of a style. If he manages to find his way to weave through the platforms without having to go to the ledge, it's going to constantly reset into King Ark's favor, I feel. Raiga hasn't really used Cloud's tools to as much advantage as I feel like he could. And that's, and that's another thing, just of note. Oh. Oh. Uh, we saw, right before Raiga found himself off stage, he had briefly grabbed the Metal Blade, but wasn't able to really do anything with that. And this is just a little note that I've always made against characters like Mega Man. Well, like, if they got an item, you got to know how to use that against them. Mm -hmm. And that's something that doesn't just apply to this game. That's going to apply to any Smash game yeah. that involves items. So maybe Smash 64. Uh, nonetheless. Now, like you're saying, you, you always want to lab those. You always want to be prepared for any situation. Because, I mean, then again, like, Mega Man is not really a common character. So, of course, you know, are you ever going to be prepared? Who knows in, in, in any Smash game if you're going to be prepared for it, especially with how bigger the roster is going to get with every game. However, uh, you know, Raigo, you know, he's still going to work on that, especially for the next game. But so far, he, they've both, both players, King Ark and Raigo, have been holding it down so far, now losing stock, and we're almost two minutes into the match. Yeah, both characters have just been very aware about how well they can move around the map. And it's a very important factor of Battlefields. Like, King Ark has given respect to where Cloud can position himself. Oh. Raiga still <laughs> needs to learn how to respect that back air, though, or yeah. else he's catching those claws over and over and over again. It made me kind of wish that it just would have, they both would have lost their stock that way. But I know that wouldn't be possible. 
Yo, if Mega Man lost his stock at like 140 from that side of the stage, <laughs> with, was that back air? Yeah. Yeah, It no. would have happened, but it's Definitely still... would have canceled this whole game. <laughs> Absolutely like, not trying to see Mega Man die. Remember that there. ceremony of we we burial we're gonna have? We're just gonna do that now. Just, we're just gonna pack it all up now. Forget the rest of the tournament. Just burn it down. <laughs> Throw the whole game in the trash. So now Rank of course had a little bit of a deficit, having a little trouble getting the stock off Mega Man, but of course, you know, Battlefield helping out both players keeping their, their stocks alive for a very long time. That's what I was saying. Not only can Mega Man's tools be used really well for holding on to the stage, but he survived to 180, and it took a strong hit in order to get rid of that stock. I forget. I'm a commentator's curse machine, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, you have a good a good way about reading what's going to happen next. <laughs> but, uh, oh my gosh, are we going to see um, the, the young JV there? And then, 89. still coming back to the stage. All right, very smart of Raya to just get himself Ooh. back there. There we go, no JV, but still a lot of work to be done. Off stage, no tough. limit. He's got to be very careful. Oh, oh my goodness. Magnet hands helping out. New York just gets too antsy with his uh, down airs. All right, so Raya has him just where he wants him. Oh, but he's just able to get back off stage as King Art. Holding center stage down, up air city. Yeah, it's a, it's grim. Now that with limit is. Oh, oh. oh my gosh! Got the last hit, but not enough yet. Yeah, nah. All right, I like it. No, that's it. That could have saved him. Okay. Wow. Out of all, but of, after all that, bit of a funky end to the game, but hey. So now King Ark in in winners finals. And he's gonna find his opportunity to fight Juice and. We get treated to a very oh. rare matchup. Mega Man and Zero Suit is, you, you don't often see those two characters outside of like really large regionals or majors because very few notable Mega Mans and very few notable Zero Suits occupy the same regions. Mm 